Hey there, my fellow planet crafters. Have you been looking for your pulsar quartz? Maybe you need some because you, you just want to get that first teleporter done. Or maybe you are a brand new player and you're like, what is this pulsar quartz thing that I keep seeing stuff for? I mean, is it like different from regular quartz? Does it have a pulsar inside of it? Or is it just a fancy name because it looks pretty? Well, pulsar quartz is probably, you're going to say, the highest tier material in the game right now because you have to get to 175 GTI before you can unlock it to craft it in the bio lab. It also takes zeolite, osmium, uranium, iridium, and methane cartridges just to make one. On top of that, pulsar quartz is used for pretty much the highest tier stuff, the nuclear fusion generator, the teleporter, and the fusion energy cell. So whether you need just a few pieces because you just need one more teleporter, or you need hundreds of pieces because you want a nuclear fusion generator, question is how do you get it all right so as i said you can craft pulsar quartz in the bio lab once you unlock it at 175 gti but that is a good bit down the road from when you first start playing the plant crafter it's going to take you some time to get your terraformation index up that high so with crafting covered let's talk about how you can just find some pulsar quartz out in the world you can find pulsar quartz in the blue crates just like so many other materials in the game. However, because it's so high tier of a material, you're really going to have to wait about opening any of these crates until you get your terraformation index really high in order to have any kind of chance of getting pulsar quartz and it's still going to be a very low chance. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I see a blue crate and I'm like, hey, I can get some resources and I go ahead and open it instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to save that for about, you know, 50 GTI later. I'll come back for that one. So beyond the crates, we can find Pulsar Quartz out in the world. Now, as of the insects and waterfalls update, there are two Pulsar Quartz caves. First cave is found in the Gate Desert, Boulder Desert area. And the second cave is part of the cave system that connects from the arches biome to the crater. Now, both of these contain also sulfur and osmium and just like other caves these are blocked by ice in fact these are blocked by ice that is going to take a lot longer for it to start to melt than the osmium caves themselves so again you're going to be having to get your terraformation index up pretty high just to even access these caves and get any pulsar quartz from them more importantly, while these are Pulsar Quartz caves, the caves do not support placing down or extractors. That doesn't matter if it's tier one or tier two, the caves are set in game code as having no mineable soil. So the ore extractors, while you may have enough vertical clearance, they're not going to place down because they're not allowed. So sorry to disappoint if you were hoping to mine some Pulsar Quartz right now, Pulsar Quartz is not a mineable item. That means if you want to get large quantities of Pulsar Quartz, you're going to be having to craft it, which means you might want to check out one of my other videos featuring how to find things like zeolite, osmium, uranium, and iridium. But you can also go and find Pulsar Quartz in the new Meteor Field and Waterfalls biomes. Now, between these two, Meteor Field is going to be the best one. You can get here at any point during the gameplay, you don't have to wait until you get to a certain stage. However, if it's too early and you have the Osmium Cave still blocked with ice, you're gonna have to do a little bit longer walk to get to the Meteor Field, but you can get there at any point in the game and get some Pulsar Quartz. I honestly like the Meteor Field for this because it's black and white. You know, it looks like nighttime once you go in there because of the atmospheric effect. Makes it really easy to see this glowing pinkish purple piece of crystal. And then I said you can get some in the waterfalls biome. Now this is not really worth it unless you just want to have a good view, but there are two pieces of pulsar quartz on the very top of the waterfalls pillar. So you will need a lot of oxygen and the jetpack to slowly work your way up to the top. Now the last option for getting pulsar quartz is through the random, very rare occurrence of a purple meteor. Now you've seen meteor storms, they come in with a bunch of meteors, they splash down, break rocks all over the place, and drop materials. The Pulsar Quartz Meteor Storm is really not a storm as much as just a meteor. It's a single meteor, comes down, it comes down very slowly, I mean extremely slow, 
and when it hits, it'll drop a few pieces of Pulsar Quartz. Now, the advantage is that this Pulsar Quartz does not despawn. It's like all other materials that come from the meteors, except for Super Alloy. Right now, Super Alloy is the only material when it comes down from a meteor storm that's going to despawn quickly. Everything else will stay in and only despawn when you exit the game. So if you see a big purple meteor crash down, make sure you collect that Pulsar Quartz before you close your game out. And with that said, the long-term way to get a lot of Pulsar Quartz is, of course, crafting it in the Biolab. Again, once you get your Terraformation Index up to 175 GTI and unlock the option. For this, you will have to have mining set up for your four materials, zeolite, osmium, uranium, and iridium. And then you'll need a few gas extractors so you have methane cartridges. Beyond that, it's not really a big deal. You can make tons of pulsar quartz. And once you've got tons of pulsar quartz, you can make all the nuclear fusion generators you want and have teleporters at every different mining site and 18 different bases around the world if you want. It's whatever you want to do with it. And hey, you know what? If this video helped you out, Leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what it was about the video that helped you out.